Today's show is sponsored by the MultiorgasmicMama.com. If lack of confidence, low libido, or guilt and shame around your sexuality are the cause of your bedroom woes, you know, the hot wild sex you never have anymore, or the transition into motherhood that sucked your libido dry, let me help you get your mojo and magnetic feminine spark back. Magic, miracles, total self-love, and multi-orgasmic bliss included. See you at the MultiorgasmicMama.com. What's up, ladies? It's Tilly here, and I'm so excited to have a special guest on for you all today. She is a guest from the Essentially Embodied Woman Group program, and I brought Miss Brienne Colpitz on to talk to you about her experience in the program and the impact that it's had in her life and her energy, her sex life, her relationship, all of that good stuff. And Brienne is a former school psychologist now with her own private practice as a social coach for quirky kids. What's up, Brienne? How you doing? Hey, thanks for uh, having me on. Um, I am, so I live in Colorado and it's spring and it's snowing here, so I'm a little cold, but otherwise, I'm really good. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about your family, what your family's like, how many kids you have, and what you were really struggling with when you signed up for the program. So, um, I am married to a man, and so um, I have a husband, and our actual 10-year wedding anniversary is next year, so we've been doing this for a little while. We have two kids that are five and a half and two and a half. And, um, yeah, so that's my family and they are awesome, but also crazy. This quarantine life is something new for us. So I am, uh, just so glad that I found you before this because I think I would have possibly murdered one of those people before now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no need to call protective services. We're all fine. But um, I think, so I actually learned about you on a podcast and it wasn't your podcast. It was someone else's podcast. And so I was like, well, let me, let me check this lady out and see what she's up to. And I did, I looked at your Instagram and I was like, okay, I need what you're putting out there. And so lucky enough, this group program was happening and we you know, I wasn't even sure like why I felt like I needed you or your services or to reach out, but I was brave enough to have that like call that we had where we talked about things. And I really had to think about like, what am I struggling with, with like, why did I even put my toe in the water to see what this was all about? And when I really boil it down, it's that I didn't really feel like I was in touch with my desires and I was really not fully expressing my sexuality and that felt like a block and it felt like it was showing up in my relationship with my husband and also with myself um in like fully loving myself and then also in like confidence in myself and also in my business, like kind of like creative blocks were showing up in my business. And I am like a personal development junkie. So I've done all the things, but not with my vagina. And so I'm like, let's, let's try this very different work and see what happens. Mm. Epic. Okay. So what were you most scared of when you signed up for this program? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Well, um, <laughs> so pussy is not a word that I, it's like for some people it's moist or like they have, you know, like their, oh, their word. And I didn't really ever feel like I could just step into the power of the pussy and even say that word. Um, and now I do. And, um, I think one of the reasons I, I knew I had to work with you was because I loved the content that you put out. And I was like, Oh, you know, 
how did you come up with this? Who's your business coach? And you were like, my pussy, my pussy is my business coach. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, but I want my pussy to be my business coach too. <laughs> I love that. I don't think I ever heard you tell me that's why. <laughs> and I definitely told my, um, like that night I, um, had, well, it was maybe one of the last in-person women's groups with one of my, um, groups that I circle around with. And I told them that, and they were like, Oh my God, that is the best thing I've ever heard. And I was like, I know I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> wow I love that thank you for sharing that <laughs> something new for me to learn about you too I didn't know that's why um awesome okay so when you signed up like what were you hoping to get out of it what what were your desires when you signed up because you were already like orgasmic you were having yeah. decent sex with your husband you know it was like everything was cool and okay so what was the force the driving force there but I think for me, I believe that life is meant to be more than cool and okay. And I think we get this one chance at life in this body, in this time. And I want it to be fucking amazing. And I just didn't feel like the things I had done up to this point and I know life is a journey and it's about that and not necessarily the destination, but I felt like I needed to kind of level up my journey. And so I don't know if I had like specific goals other than just being open to what this work would do and really healing in a way that, you know, other modalities hadn't got me to where I needed to be specifically like talk therapy. And I mean, you know, I'm a mental health person, like I'm trained as a psychologist and, you know, those methods hold validity, but also I feel like you can't just always need the face to face with another person to bring it out. Like you need tools and you need ways that you can help yourself heal. And so, um, I don't even know if I'm answering the question at this point, but I feel like that's, that was like my goal. I wanted just to level things up in all ways and not just have like a fine, okay life. Yes. I totally stand for that. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking awesome, fucking awesome life. Yay. I love it. Um, and I remember that some of your goals were that you wanted to become multi-orgasmic and you wanted to feel more confident and embody your sexuality more and be more vulnerable. Yes, for sure. And, um, yeah, my results have been meeting those goals for sure. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay. Well, tell us about them. What are, what are the biggest results that you've gotten from their program? Okay. Well, like you said, like I was, you know, I, I felt like my husband and I had a pretty like healthy sex life. Okay. Sex life. Um, you know, our kids are little, so sometimes it's like, you know, okay, we have a Daniel tiger episode, like let's do this. Um, but I wanted the, this to just be better and, um, with more connection. And so like, I wanted to feel more connected with my man and have mind blowing sex. And that has happened. And I've become multi orgasmic. And I didn't, you know, I think when signing up for this, I was like, okay, well, that would be cool, but you know, whatever. And I think you don't know until you know. <laughs> yeah. Like how much more or better it could be, and like how different zones can be popping off at the same time and taking you to a level that you didn't know was there. And so that's happened for me. I, um, yeah, we'll have like really great blended orgasms, which is a thing ladies, if you don't know about it, it's a thing and, um, you need them. Um, and becoming multi-orgasmic in that way. Like I thought, Oh, I having like sex and 
multiple orgasms. Okay, whatever. But for me, it's been more about the intensity of my orgasms and not just coming from like clitoral simulation or, you know, it's like, Oh, I didn't know my anus could feel that good. <laughs> yes. To the anus. <laughs> Your penis is sacred too, just so you know. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, so I've also um, learned that I need to prior- prioritize my pleasure. Mm. And I know what it feels like to not do that. And that's when you get back to just like really not valuing yourself or you're maybe like fully leaning into your worth or knowing that you don't have to wait for quarantine to be up to like have a good orgasm or, or you don't have to wait for anything. Like you matter. And that permission through this program and with tools of knowing how to do that has been such a game changer for me. And it's helped me find joy in motherhood, Mm. which was a little bit lost for me. Um, just so your listeners know, I'm not a Pinterest mom. I'm not like somebody with an Instagram account that has all the like chromatic synchronization of amazingness of the activities I've done with my kids. That's not me. And, and so sometimes motherhood feels daunting because my kids are little and they do want to play and, and I found ways to enjoy that. Mm. I have to say that almost fills my heart with more joy than hearing that you've become multi-orgasmic through this program. (laughs) I mean, it's a really big fucking deal right there. But the fact that you could like rekindle that joy and motherhood, like that's, that's what this work is about. That's why sex matters. (laughs) That's why prioritizing your pleasure matters because when you do, you get that joy back. Yeah, that was missing for me. I mean, I'm um, a mompreneur, so I'm balancing lots of things. And especially with no breaks for school now, where I can try and knock some things out for myself, I think if I hadn't sort of returned to that joy or found ways to enjoy my children, that we'd really be having a hard time right now. And we have our moments for sure, but it's a moment. Unlike, oh, it's a day, it's a phase, it's a week or whatever. It's like, it's a moment and we'll get through it. Um, And that has been, that was never really a goal of mine because I actually didn't know that that was a thing. (laughs) Oh, you you have fun with your kids? Oh, (laughs) that's a real thing. Um, But yeah it is a real thing. And it's, it's been delightful. Mm, Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's so big. Yeah. Thank you for helping me get there. Yeah. What do you feel is the thing that helped you get there most? Like of the, there's so many different components of this program, like what practice or tool, maybe one specific that's been the most impactful for you. So for me, starting my day, and again, sometimes it's delayed because of whatever the chaos of life and in this time, but, um, our daily practice of the stress cycle completion Mm. where I get to get my feelings out and like in order and then like bring peace and pleasure as my like, uh, reset from that has been something that I've been faithful to and it's something that doesn't take so much time that you feel like you can't like, Oh, I got a plan for this. It's like, no, I do this. I I have my fit and I get my feelings out or I grieve or whatever it is. And then I do my breathing and then I set my, um, you know, I do the journal part um, or, you know, just talk it out through movement. And that has been, I think the biggest thing because I had so much grief from whatever 
past programming or experiences or beliefs that I didn't know was there. And I don't think you can get to the joy until you have met the grief and you allow space for it. And then it moves along and then that space can fill up with something different. And for me, that has been one of the biggest tools that I think has really kind of turned things around for me. Amazing. Yeah. It's that daily showing up for yourself, just yep. five, 10 minutes. That's yep. it's the repetition, right? Like I give y'all, I give them all these longer practices that, you know, they take up time and, and they have to plan for them. And it's challenging, especially right now with kids home, but it's, the, you know, like she just said, it's the daily accountability challenge, the nervous system completion techniques that I teach in the program that are the most impactful because it's like the thing you're showing up daily to do. And over time, it just builds power and makes more space in your body to be able to receive the pleasure of life, emotional yeah. and physical pleasure. And, you know, I've, I've found that all feel feelings throughout the day that need to get released, need to get processed through. And I'll kind of at least do the stress cycle completion part and I can move through it without being like that bitchy, pissy mom all day. And then I don't ruin a huge chunk of time. I listen to my body. I honor what I'm going through. I have a way to move it through and then I can move on. And that has been yeah, really, really awesome. Yeah. Well, it just, it makes me so happy that you could love yourself enough to show up for yourself in that way. She's been rocking the uh, accountability challenge, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a big accountability component in, in the program because I know it's so hard to just get up and press play. That's like the hardest part of all of this is just actually doing it Yeah, and having that accountability challenge and just like getting up and doing the thing every day is huge. So good for you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love a gold star. <laughs> Yay. A plus did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering then what feels possible for you now that you have all of these tools and practices available to you forever. Like that's not not just like the 10 weeks that this is going to be a value to you. Like, right. I know that's going to change. Yeah. So, well, one thing I didn't say about my results is that I also, um, my business has grown beyond where it's ever been. And so, um, and I hit a goal that I had been working on for at least a year and I hit it in February and, um, that was totally because of all this work because I just wasn't letting myself get in my own way. And so along the lines of what feels possible, I think showing up authentically in my business and knowing that I can grow my business as me. And there's so much fucking noise and chatter out there about how to grow business and, you know, getting more people on your email list and converting sales and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, this program isn't about that, but it has that effect if you do the work. And that was something that, you know, I was willing to set like a business goal, like, Oh, cause that felt safe. And, and so I hit that <laughs> also along the way to just helping myself return to me. And I think truly knowing yourself in a way that doesn't feel scary or shameful, um, like real, really reclaiming parts of yourself that have been lost, um, that is happening and continues to happen. And the possibilities of being a complete whole human on my own terms gets me pretty fucking excited. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then all the orgasms. <laughs> I mean, all the orgasms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
and I feel, I just feel like my connection with my husband has deepened to a place that, you know, I think we had before kids and then kids come along and they fuck it all up. Just kidding, babies. Love you. Um, but, but it changed, you know, when you add more variables to a situation, it changes outcomes and it changes all of the things. And I think we're back, we're back to like pre-baby connection. Mm. And so just dreaming about what's possible with our relationship and knowing that really there are no limits there is another thing that, um, yeah, gets my heart beating fast. Mm. It melts mine as I hear it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, (laughs) amazing. So in your words, what type of women or who should sign up for this program? Okay. So, um, yeah, I have some thoughts on that. So I think you have to be ready and you have to be open and you have to be a little bit brave. And that doesn't mean that you have to be somebody who's like, oh, I'm going to run this marathon or like not brave in that kind of way that you're going to be like pushing yourself so far, but just a little bit brave that you can um, try something that you probably haven't done before. And I think anyone who relates right now, I'm reading um, Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, and she talks about like reclaiming our wild or you know, becoming untamed, like the world has tamed us and how do we reclaim our wild? And I think anyone who resonates with that, who wants to reclaim their true self, their true um, wild before they got caged into believing all of the societal, cultural bullshit, those people need to reach out to you. Um, And so I think anyone who would be willing to step into that and also someone who's invested in their healing and wants to fucking activate their power. (laughs) Yes. Because that's really what the bravest, like that's where the bravery comes from. Like, because we are powerful and if we allow ourselves to activate that power from within it can feel a little scary because it's like, Oh, this is what was tamed out of me before. And now it's back. And so it can feel a little bit like, what do I do with this? And so anyone who's excited by that idea should definitely join this program because it's worth being a little bit scared of your own power to be able to find it and then decide how you're going to harness that shit and what you're going to do with it. Yes. Oh, reclaiming our wild. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yes. <laughs> That's my favorite weeks in the program, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's been two weeks on, on wildness and reclaiming the wild woman inside. Oh, and man. Before that. Now I, power. now I walk around the yard and do some of the breathing and like the stomping and stuff when my kids are like, chase me mom play with me so then I'll like work some of the things we've done into like the breathing and the stomping and all of that I <laughs> love it they are so scared of me but it's like part of of like what we've done in this week you know privately like on our own practice but I've brought a little bit of that to the backyard in the playtime with my kids <laughs> I love that you know like all of the women in the program <clears throat> they right now they all have kids in this one um, the next one won't, but in this one, all of y'all tell me how you have been doing these practices with your kids. And I'm just like, holy shit, man, like, look at the ripple impact this is going to have on the world, right? Like these kids are growing up woke as fuck because y'all said yes to yourselves. I certainly hope so. Yeah. And, and mine are like super resistant. They hate everything I teach them. <laughs> But you know what? When they're freaking 30 years old, 
they get their heart broke or, <laughs> or they end up in a divorce or they lose the job or something, you know, whatever shit hits the fan for them, they are going to be so thankful that they grew up with a mom that knows this shit already, that did this work already, that, you know, they, they were raised with that. It's not like it's new to them or they don't know, you know? Uh, so it just makes it that much more easy for them to access the tools and the healing work that they need to do when that time comes. So they might hate you for it now, but they're going to appreciate it later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they, I think they mostly like it. They don't like when I shut the door and don't let them in for something private, but um, you know, that's just them wanting to be front and center for everything. You know, what you said about kids being woke, it just makes me like think that I really believe that the way we change the world is by loving ourselves first and healing our own shit. And you've talked about that so much in this program. It's just resonated with me so much about how, um, you know, we don't want to pass our wounds on to our kids. And if we can stop it in its tracks by healing ourselves now in this lifetime and not passing it on to another generation, just the power that has in our own families, but also in the fucking world. And that shit gets me so excited. And I hope you have a wait list for this program because it's time. <laughs> it's time for us to, to do this work and to really heal in this way and no other modality has ever gotten me to this place so i'm so 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 grateful mm. thank you thank you i am grateful you said yes yes to you yes to your family yes to the world and yeah we'll just leave it off of that this is coming from a psychologist by the way people remember that she's she's been there done that done all the things already and this is not that so um yeah thank you so much for joining us brianne you're welcome thanks for having me okay bye now if you want results like brianne i would love to invite you to apply for the essentially embodied woman group coaching program it is a proven system to heal all of your blocks to pleasure, turn on feeling confident in your body and really experiencing that aliveness and joy for life. Uh, I'd love to have you join our May round. It starts in what, two to three weeks right now. Uh, so there's still time to apply. The last day to apply is April 29th. Um, slash 30th, but the calls end on April 29th. And you can check out all of the program details, um, the full syllabus, um, the pricing, everything is listed at themultiorgasmicmama.com forward slash centrally dash embodied dash woman. The arc of the journey is a very intelligent design. I would like to say I'm a genius, uh, but no, really, I, I am. <laughs> Because you may have done all of the things uh, to start making your pleasure a priority. You may have done all of the things uh, to heal your sexuality and work on your relationship. You may have been to the couple's counselor. You may have uh, done therapy before. And as you just have heard and seen, that is not enough to work on your sexuality and relationship issues. Uh, because you can't heal traumas, personal, generational, ancestral, or negative conditioning on any different level of mind than it was created. And since all sexuality and relationship issues are imprinted on the primal and the limbic system brain level, it does not work to go to cognitive behavioral therapy or to go talk about your problems with the counselor. Uh, you need to do embodiment practices. You need to learn nervous system regulation techniques. You need to learn the jade egg practice properly uh, with a certified legit teacher such as myself. And you need to do the inner work around inner child wounding and mother-father dynamics and your internal ecology so that you can begin to sexually and relationally thrive and do the things that actually work to shift your experience of pleasure, turn on desire, sex, relationship, intimacy, vulnerability, orgasm, all of those things. So the arc of the journey is 
where we start with pleasure. We start with tapping you into pleasure. What is it going to take? What is the different forms of pleasure, the different flavors of pleasure? And then we're learning about all of um, the female body and specifically getting you all on the same page about what's possible for you. And then we move into healing and trauma integration. Uh, you don't ever want to go straight into healing and trauma integration without having something to uh, resource into uh, that feels good and pleasurable. And that is why healing comes second. And once we heal, then we get to start to reclaim all of those parts that Brianne was talking about, and we get to take back our power. Uh, so we're working on power, internal power, personal power, sexual power, sexual sovereignty. Um, and then we can move into wildness, really reclaiming our wild woman inside of each of us. So the wild woman is uh, the part of us that's most shamed and feared by society. And it's also the part of us that when we reclaim it, we feel whole again, and we're able to experience joy and pleasure and ecstasy and bliss in this life. And after wildness comes safety in being sexy. So it's really being able to step into your full sexuality, your full expression of your sexuality, and to feel safe doing that because we have lived for so many thousands of years in a world where it was not, it has never been safe for a woman to express her sexuality fully. And we're working with creating the loved safety and belonging in your body and in your internal system so that you can feel safe to do that. All right, my dears, I would love for you to join us for the May round. Uh, all you need to do is go apply at themultiorgasmicmama.com forward slash centrally dash embodied dash woman. Get all of the details and apply for your application call and hope to hear from you soon. Okay, bye. Oh,